that this is the first time any private organization has built border wall on private land. Uh, and it's happening right here in the El Paso area. This closes a gap in the El Paso metro area, and it's far more important than 50 miles out in the desert where no one's crossing. There are, in a given night, uh, over 100 migrants will come through this gap, and more than $100,000 in, in drugs will come through. We're working 24-7 over the holiday weekend to give America a, president, a present on this Memorial Day. The debt our nation owes to those who rest here among these hallowed fields and in cemeteries, churchyards, and humble plots across the wider world is a debt we can never fully repay. For this is the day that makes possible all other American days. I think it's crazy, it's absurd. Uh, this is farmland, you're not even supposed to be able to visually see the river right now, so it's a lot to take in, it's, it's scary. Pray for the families, uh, people have absolutely lost everything. We just <laughs> have come off a flood the last uh, week. Uh, it's been very trying for us and our community, but I'm gonna tell you, the people of El Reno are uh, the strongest people I've ever met. They pulled the man up. Um, he looked unconscious when they transferred him to the other gurney, and we could see that they were trying to do CPR on him.